In this video, I am going to show you how you can make your framer site look amazing using 3D animations, low-T animations, 3D hover effects and much more. If you don't know what framer is, it's a design tool used to create interactive prototypes for websites and apps. Once you register and create a new file, you get this type of interface. This is your site page. On the right side is your properties panel where you can set position, dimension and layout for different things. From here you can add pages, sections, navigations, menus, elements, visuals, etc. You can also add different things like frames, text, images, videos and database. This is where you can change your site name. You can publish the site from here. Before publishing, you can preview your site in between to verify that everything functions as intended. So first, let's add this section and navigation. We will set the navigation position type to absolute. After that, we will add 3D animation using the Embit tab. We will also set the position of the Embit tab to absolute. Make sure to set the height to 100vh and width to a relative 100%. I am going to add other sections to this and continue building the rest of the site. You can preview your site in between to make sure that everything works fine. To add 3D animation, I am first going to make the 3D design and for that I am going to use Spline, a place where you can design objects and environments in 3D. Just create a new file and make whatever you want or you can directly use the assets from the Spline library itself. I am going to add a spear, just create a camera after this from here. And align the camera at the position from where you want to showcase your scene. To create the animation, you need to create its other states. This is because you need to go from one state to the another state to animate that object. As I am going from base state to state, I am going to drag the object down in the base state and drag it above in the next state. For this, I need to create an event that will be based on start. The transition will go from base state to state. This is what it looked like when we played. I will make the adjustments I want it to be. Making the background color completely black and setting the material lighting to 100, I am going to add the image to this pier like this. Then set the ambience to no. Now you can adjust the lighting according to your needs. At last I am going to add rotational animations. I am also going to add the third state which will take place after the state change happens. After making the proper transition, you are ready to go. To export, go to this viewer tab and select the main scene and camera that you want. You can hide the background color if you don't want. You can also set other properties according to your needs. Then copy this embed code and paste it here as HTML code. Make it Z index 0 to move the layer at the back of the text. I am going to add an image at the back of this. If you want to add a transition to the text, you can do that as well. Just set the trigger to on appear and select any one preset that you like and add the transition. Do the same thing with other text as well. 
Now I am going to add some content to this. Now I am going to add the Loti animation to the site. To do that select the Loti animation from here. Go to the Loti site where you can get various animations or you can upload one. Just add one to your workspace and open it. Copy this asset link and paste it here. I am going to make the background color transparent and add this to the section making the position absolute. I would also like to change its scroll speed which would make it seem like a parallax effect. Making this more than 100 will make the scroll faster. Change the position to scroll. You can add 3D hover effects to these cards. Just add the hover effect and you can get different properties to set. Change the rotation from 2D to 3D and you can get options to rotate upon X, Y and Z axis and adjust X and Y offset. This is what it looks like. Thanks for watching this video. See you next time.